Good evening, Cebu. Good evening, Philippines. We have tonight, uh, for our open mic night, uh, the quintessential uh, female, young female, uh, empowered woman. <laughs> uh, dear friend of mine, she is the governor of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, or the IBP, Eastern Visayas uh, chapter. She is the Associate Dean of the School of Law of the University of San Jose Recoletos. She was a multi-awarded uh, student and youth leader. She was president of the Philippine Junior JCs, national president. Uh, she has uh, she has so many credentials, <laughs> and I know most of them. That's why I'm tempted to enumerate everything. Uh, she also has a show, uh, a very popular uh, talk show on AM radio called Kini and Apung Suliran. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, and, and so many more, you know? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's very difficult for me to enumerate everything, but I think I've said uh, the most important uh, parts, and the most important of which is she is single and very available. That would do. <laughs> <laughs> Attorney Elaine Batan. Good Lane? evening, Mike. Dear Hi. friend, Elaine yes. Batan. <laughs> Attorney Elaine Batan, welcome to Open Mic. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Good evening, everyone. How are you? I'm good. How do Everything you manage, you know? Uh, juggling uh, a very busy schedule. Well, the iPhone and the calendar keeps me sane. The iPhone really helps. No? Yes, it really yes, helps. It so every time I see on, on Facebook, either in Paris or in Manila or Cebu, <laughs> how do you, I mean? But do you have time for your love life? I believe so. You have a love life. <laughs> Secret. I, I think I'm not, I'm not updated. <laughs> Probably not. After after this, coffee and... No, we'll have dinner with our... Right, we will. With our Tingo Carling and family. Of course. <laughs> they deserve a treat after everything. Yes, because you were their lawyer. <laughs> congrats! Congrats to Tingo! Yay! <laughs> For the victory, uh, double victory. Victory in the student council elections and victory uh, from... Um, some legal issues. <laughs> <laughs> some legal issues that was like... Some legal is issues <laughs> that uh, you as uh, Tingo's uh, lawyer helped them uh, resolve. You cannot say no to the kids. Yes. Yeah. It's a, so both uh, Elaine and I, we got to know each other more than 10 years ago. <laughs> we have to say the year. We're, we're friends for over a decade because we both come from uh, the same campus political party right. in USC called Tingo Carolinian and also Junior JCs. Right. USC chapter. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, uh, what do you call this? Those are the ties that, uh, that bind, bind the know. two of us. Yes. Tingo and JCs and USC. Yes. Uh, where you miss USC? You know? I wish I was, <laughs> but I wasn't. So it all started, I know that uh, because you're older than me. Um, a little older than you. <laughs> considerably older than okay. me. Okay. Uh, you're already, I, it's good. It's a good thing I never called you ate. You dare not. <laughs> yes, I dare not. Mm -hmm. But I remember that when I was a freshman, you were already in the student council mm -hmm. uh, and you were already graduating. That's why I said a little older than you. <laughs> and then uh, you already had a lot of credentials uh, you know, under your belt. Um, what is your motivation? You're the youngest, I know you're the youngest in the family, right? Yes, yes I um, am. Where does family. this drive come from? Probably because of... Um, I find the excitement of being involved in many things. The fact that you are... You know that with your involvement, you're able to make a difference yeah. um, not only for yourself but also for whatever uh, organization involvement uh, you are in and the friends that you meet along the way True. priceless yeah. definitely priceless. but what, what, what was your aha moment uh, what was your turning point because not, we're not we're not all born uh, wanting to join an organization mm -hmm. I mean who recruited you uh, <laughs> were, were, were there second thoughts um, you know, well, what was I the process? think in college, it was, I would admit it, it's what, it was the JCs first. Okay. I joined it when I was in first year because Ryan Villaflores, another good Who's friend. Who's supposed to be here. But... And he is not, where are you? <laughs> but um, yeah, he was the president. He led the organization well. He and, actually... And he recruited you. And recruited me. I can be very convincing. Very much. And won't take no for an answer. Very much. And then second, probably in college is... Mrs. Alo and Ms. Padal. Mm, our involvement. Yes, our involvement with the student affairs. Belated happy birthday to Mrs. Happy Alo. Happy birthday, Mita. Belated. Mamita, the mamita ng bayan. Yes. No? So. Yeah, they were, they were, they were these uh, influential people, not to mention uh, the fact that the Batans, yes. who were before me, my aunts and my cousins, were very much active uh, in campus student politics. Student council. Student council and in other organizations in the school. Mm -hmm. 
and your uh, first cousin, uh, Attorney Glinda, Ate Glinda, yes. was the first female president of the Student Council. That is right. That is right. Uh, you, you took up accountancy? I did. Did you always want to be a lawyer? Yes. That was In the plan? Fact, that was actually the plan. Um, I wanted to take up accountancy or any business course as my preparatory for law school and then moved on to law school and then here I am. Why did you want to be a lawyer? I was... At what age and why? Elementary. What? Because I was too fascinated with my aunt. Um, because you're from, from a family of lawyers? Yes, um, both of them were, were teaching, both of them were <clears> active <throat> in practice. They were in fact connected with um, the former Chief Justice, Marcelo Fernand, mm -hmm. who in all his grandeur would be in awe of the kind of lawyer that he was back yes. then. Um, definitely, he became the Senate President. We campaigned he became, for him. Yes, Our we did. He was the pride him. of Cebu. Yes. He became the... Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. He's the only person, as a matter Both, of fact, huh? yes, who occupied the top two positions of the two of the three departments in our government. And he was this close to becoming president. And he would have been the head of three. Yes. The judiciary, the legislature, and executive, if yes. he won. We campaigned for him because his uh, daughter, Tita Marisa, Marisa Fernandez, mm -hmm. my mom's uh, STC. That's right. Classmate. You're STC also. No, I'm science high. Science high. Ah. Mm, never mind the batch. <laughs> but yeah, and then secondly, I'll be very honest with you, I like the fashion among the lawyers. So I was in awe of, of um, the, the, power court dressing. To, the power dressing in court, um, how you would want to appear so confidently. Any movie that, uh, that uh, inspired you? Well, um, one is um, John Grisham's, uh, was it John Grisham? No, I The think. Client? The Client, secondly, um, well, it's John Grisham, I don't know. The no, client. it's not, no. yeah, it's, it's The Client and there are The Pelican Brief. Oh, okay. And that Julia? Yes, that's Julia Roberts. And believe it or not, Legally Blonde. <laughs> was that before you? What? Yeah! You were not yet in I law school? I was not in law school then. I object. <laughs> and it's pink. I know, it's pink. Legally right, that was a fun movie. Um, yeah. I also liked some legal dramas. Yeah. Oh yeah, wait, A Time to Kill. There is always a time to kill. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not <just> kidding. <laughs> no, you can tell that, the that, that movie. <laughs> so th those uh, movies also inspired you? Yes, those. Those okay. movies. But because I wonder, because I know, I mean, of course, I... It, uh, I thought about that, that maybe because your family is, you know, family of lawyers, yes. uh, that, that that's the reason why you know. But like for me, I come from a family of eye doctors, but I never wanted to be one. Precisely. Why? Because I could be something else. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that's what I did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you there was never a time that you wavered on that dream. <clears throat> Not that and wanted to be something else, like an actress or <laughs> Oh well that is every girl's dream probably. Really? Yeah, but on the side I wanted to be a newscaster. Which you somehow do now. Well, with the so, press conferences that you yeah, do and, for people. And you also did a local show uh, with CC. Uh, yeah, with, with, the, with another station yeah, CC, for yeah. the Lady Lawyers group. So yes. the Lady Lawyers group. And and then you have a at least you have a radio show. Yes. How so long I'm have you been doing it? That. I think I've been doing that for the past four or five years already. Wow, it's been that mm -hmm, long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a surprise because, of course, the maids, they love listening to AM radio. Well, those were more market. Uh, uh, and, then, and then sometimes, like, so I get to listen to, oh my gosh, how, the, how does Elaine do it? The, speak no, Cebuano. Speak Cebuano. So. <laughs> I never even realized I would be able to... Of course, you can speak Cebuano no, conversational, but, no, but it's very different. It's very different and it, I, I found it a bit difficult and then even awkward mm -hmm. to be able to, to, to discuss legal terms in Cebuano. Do you study? Do you have to yes. like, like uh, have a Cebuano dictionary? You know? Sometimes. <laughs> ah, really? Sometimes. Sometimes. But sometimes I can't help but use the correct legal term uh, in English and then explain it in Cebuana, in layman's term. Because I don't want also to, to make a mistake with regards yeah, to Contextual na lang. Mm. It doesn't have to be an actual translation of a word. No, it no. can be contextual. No. Because eventually, the legal proceedings are in English. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then and the doctrines time, are in English. Yeah, you get by, you, you get used to it. And then sooner than later, I realize, na, yeah, I can do it. So there was a time that you wanted to be, going back, uh, mm -hmm. there was a time you wanted to be a newscaster. Yes. Because my dad before went on board uh, on radio mm. um, as a commentator, a sports commentator, and then a news and radio anchor for 
uh, station. He used to be the station manager of Channel 13 in Davao. Oh. Uh, you, live, you lived in Davao? I was born in Davao. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask something. <laughs> but there's time for politics in yes, our next gap. Yes. But, um, mm -hmm. So, you, you lived in Davao for a while. Um, as far as I can remember, I think my family lived there for more than 10 years. But um, two years after I was born, or probably a year after, Cebu. we moved back to Cebu. Now. So he was, uh, your dad was a radio, uh, no. this was pre-Duterte time. Super pre-Duterte yeah. time, but the chaos I heard was really bad during those so times. So he really fixed it. Considering the martial law. So he really fixed it. I can't actually say I didn't think <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That he That's your here. free pass. That's your free pass. It would be hearsay. <laughs> hearsay? Because or I historical cannot, fact. I cannot, well, you read it from there, but yeah. on a personal note, I cannot testify. It's okay. I will it give will you that free pass. It will not be admissible in court. <laughs> so at which point uh, did you want to be a journalist, uh, uh, you know, a <clears> reporter <throat> or a, an anchor? And for how long did it last? Probably in high school. But um, my desire to be a lawyer never wavered. It was there all along. However, my exposure um, to the media also fascinated me. And I'll be, uh, at some point, I could, I could even remember reading the newspaper in front of a mirror pretending to be a newscaster. Who was your, who was your peg? Um, in Cebu, well, of course, Melba Hava. And um, I was fascinated with Lauren de Garda at the time. You know, how she speaks and, yeah. Did you ever want to, I mean, of course, so there's a, there's a, I don't know if it, it's not a misconception, no, but it always, go, always goes hand in hand. If you want to pursue law, there's always this impression that you're interested in politics or pursuing politics. Well, yeah, you cannot uh, probably take that away from most, especially if you belong to a uh, big clan, mm -hmm. uh, especially where I come from, I'm from Mandawi. Yeah. So, yeah, there was that, um, at some point perhaps, they, they thought that um, the reason why or the motivating factor for entering into law school. For you? Yes, was because there was that plan um, to enter into politics. It never crossed your mind? Um, no. <laughs> Not yet, probably. But um, who knows, you know? But you know, you the ran in the Student Council, come. you were president of JCs, mm -hmm. national president of JCs. So, so it's not like you're a stranger to, you know, yeah, elections. Definitely not. But sometimes as you go along, um, in, 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 in my service with, with different organizations, including the IDP, the JCs, and other organizations, you get to realize that there's a world outside politics. There's so much that you can do even outside politics. You don't have to be a politician to make a difference. You don't have to, but it, you know, you can also be a politician. Yeah, that's why I said I'm not closing my door. Ah. When the opportunities <laughs> come, you know, you pray on it and then you'll know. But not now. Of course not, because it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> but you, know, you can be appointed. Yeah, at some point, but... there were people who asked. And you have to politely decline. Politely decline. Yeah. Anyway, uh, more uh, of Attorney Elaine Batan when Open Mic returns from the short break. Back here at Open Mic uh, with Attorney Elaine Batan, and uh, by the way, aside from our regular airing, we are actually uh, being uh, live streamed. Of course, it's live. <laughs> uh, I don't know where, but we're being live streamed. Yeah, they can check it on Facebook and the website. Yeah, and website of my TV. Um, anyway, <coughs> go, sorry, go, going back, um, you're not closing your doors well, to politics. On anything, if it's an opportunity, why would you close your doors? So not necessarily politics. But what is your ultimate ambition? To be a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> See, man? Speechless. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> You're being a, a no. lawyer. <laughs> no, because after everything, you know, I mean, um, because I, I haven't settled down yet. But I know for a fact that once I do, there are things that I will have to give up. So you, know, you I, can give up your career, everything? And, for, for my family? And be a housewife? I believe so. But you are technically single now. Yes. 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 I always see you with Chairman Bautista. I don't want to be uh, intriguero, but <laughs> <laughs> you're friends. Yes, we are friends. Um, Do you have from, a professional relationship? Of course, from ah, okay. way back. Um, but he, now? 
case chairman and there's an uh, ongoing project between the IBP um, the and the COMELEC, ah. especially for the upcoming elections. Okay. There's a memorandum of agreement that I'm I have been drafting <laughs> okay, for, with, for, for, for him and the IBP. Ah, okay. That's why we're constantly in it. And he was ah. recently here with um, for the... Debate. Debate, yes. yes. That's why mm -hmm. I, I don't mean to pry, but I just noticed that you're always with him. He's a very good friend. Okay. Yes. Okay. He's, next he's, he's, he's actually, not, you know, he's not bad to look at, Chairman Bautista. Oh, well, yes. Um, he's very he's a very charming person inside and out. Uh, ever since. He hasn't actually changed since the first time I knew him when I was still a law student. Okay. Yeah. He All right. He's <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not bad looking. You know. Definitely not. Uh, anyway, uh, so what is your ideal guy because wow. I know a, I know a lot of women mm -hmm. and gay men mm -hmm. who who find it very difficult to you know to find uh, someone or a guy who who you know who can accept them who won't be intimidated who mm -hmm. won't be insecure toward their achievements mm -hmm. who can be the wind beneath their wings well it's like a bar question but yeah I will answer that <laughs> Well, my ideal guy is very simple. Somebody who can engage in a conversation. Uh -huh. He doesn't have to be, you know, in, in, in the top level executive um, position of any, any multinational mm -hmm. company, not necessarily. I would like a guy who is sincere and sweet. Does he have to be extremely brilliant? Not necessarily, because you don't have to be brilliant to be able to engage in a conversation. True. How long have you been single? I ask this, why is it relevant? Because, like I said, no, uh, a lot of uh, <clears throat> power women mm -hmm. uh, are single. And I don't know if it's a phenomenon or we can just simply say that uh, there are a lot of men who are intimidated by them. But I think about a, a year. You've been single for a year? Yes. I thought it's longer. Well, if you... I, did, I excluded dating. <laughs> you excluded dating, but if you yeah. include the... Uh, you know, an actual relationship. Oh, well, in an actual relationship, it's been... Three. Three years? Yes. So I've been single far longer. Okay. So you? Yes. I know. So, <laughs> shush. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm more intimidating. <laughs> Probably. Or picky than me. <laughs> no, 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 later. Over okay. dinner. Over dinner. Oh, anyway, so um, your ideal guy doesn't have to be you know, uh, a power person also. No, not necessarily. You know, I, I enjoy... I mean, at the end of the day, you leave your being governor. You leave your being a lawyer. You just want to come home to someone or, you know, have coffee, have dinner with someone you can talk to. Are you open to foreigners? Because I'm asking this because most of the guys in the Philippines, I mean, not to, not to be prejudiced, mm -hmm. but a lot of the guys here, uh, they want to be, you know, they don't like the women, women being like an equal or, or, or more superior. It's, it's, it's the machismo culture. Before, I was never actually open to the idea. Yeah. But I think the last two years, I think, yeah, why not? There's a there's a show that I love to uh, I love watching. It's called Madam Secretary. Mm -hmm. uh, Tay Leone. Uh, she's she plays the Secretary of State, and yeah. her husband I think is the perfect husband for uh, someone uh, for a woman of her stature, mm -hmm. of, you know, of a high stature. Professor McCord, you have to watch it. Does it involve the husband cheating? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. He's really watch. perfect. He's really the perfect uh, partner for, for... Ideal. Ideal. Actually, very ideal. After you watch it, I think everyone will come close. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, but at, at this point, uh, that, that is not your priority. Well, when you say priority, meaning you look for it, meaning... You don't. I don't. I believe everything has its time and purpose. Everything happens for a reason. I believe in destiny. I believe in fate. So, so if the right no. guy comes along and you know, you just know that you know he's the one. Uh, maybe what what let, let's say in a year, and he proposes marriage. I'd will say you yes. will you drop everything? Your career. I mean, your career is flourishing. What timeline are we talking about? In a year and a half. But I'm still governor will next you, year. So will you resign? No, I won't. No. Probably not because um, it, it doesn't have to be drop it like yeah. right there and then. It has to be in a gradual process and that man will have to be willing to adjust. wait, adjust for the meantime and then understand. So, in, assuming there's no love life, hmm. what, is, uh, what is your ultimate ambition that's not being a housewife? 
my ultimate ambition, well, um, first is to have a more stable um, law practice. No, I'm currently connected with Divina, Divina Law. law. Um, we do, I do dream together with the firm uh, to make the Divina Law um, one of the most, one of the biggest law firm in country and in Asia. It's actually very well known and it recently is. it became even more um, famous for the case against Senator Grace Poe, my dear friend. We didn't carry the name Divina Law, yeah, but, but one, one of, of your, the partners, one yes, of your partners uh, Attorney, Attorney Ella Paro, very brilliant she lawyer. She was at the forefront of it, no? She, it was of, her complaint. It was, and the, if you look at the pleadings, it was brilliantly made, intricately made. Okay, this is my time to not comment. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go on? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> Let's change the All topic, right, okay? Sure, so. okay. <laughs> brilliantly written, but uh, it lost in the Supreme Court. Not necessarily. If you read through the if you read through the ruling of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. in fact, IBP um, through us, the Board of Governors, we even came up with a statement to clarify and to educate the public on what actually was the ruling of the Supreme Court. Which was, matter, which was they never actually ruled whether she was qualified or eligible to run or not. Then if you say what that, if, that they, if, if they did not rule on the eligibility. Uh, then what? it means that she's still disqualified? No. What it actually said is that it is not within the jurisdiction or authority of the COMELEC okay. to rule or decide her eligibility. Right. Because the proper course of action is for her to win the election first. And I'm sure the Tingog party would know that the proper action will have to be a co-waranto proceeding filed before the Supreme Court acting as a presidential electoral tribunal. Oh my gosh, yeah. so it's far from over. It's far from over. So meaning to say, um, uh, what the Supreme Court said is that, so she is a candidate. She is so a candidate. So the Comelec uh, erred on that, uh, in that regard. In ruling her eligibility. In yes. ruling that uh, she was, dis that in disqualifying her, yes. they were wrong. They, because they are not a qualified to body to interpret uh, all these uh, that is, Complications. According, uh, that is according to the Supreme yes. Court. But you'll have to... So meaning understand. she can run? She can run. Uh -huh. but, but it's not over. It's not over. But the problem, good Mike, is that there were also rulings um, issued by the Supreme Court that saying that the COMELEC is allowed to rule on the eligibility of the candidate. But right now, because it's, it's, um, it's jurisprudence. So it's practically so, a lopsided Supreme Court victory on the part of Senator Poe, if you think about it. Because it does not close that chapter it never closed the chapter that really it just let not. her run it allowed her to run and continue on okay i didn't even know that consistent with the theory see you learned something from me tonight <laughs> well yeah, yeah i guess so <laughs> okay going back mm. um ultimate ambition po political ambition Why are you, you said you said you're open no I mean, some people. I mean, if with your credentials, mm. I'm sure. You know, if you're IBP governor, you were student. You were a student uh, leader. Yeah. You're a lawyer. Mm -hmm. You you have a public persona. Mm -hmm. Naturally, you cannot say that it never crossed your mind. And did you ever want to be president of the republic? I want to be first lady, then president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, a first lady can do so much for the president, mind you. I know. <laughs> I'm related to one, so I, I know. Exactly. <laughs> You're Tito Melvi. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but actually, um, yeah, seriously, I do consider that it's because other people would mention it. First lady. No, politics. <laughs> <laughs> first lady. Politics. That, that's my own. But you've never wanted to be, not even for a fraction of a of a minute or a second, <clears throat> did it ever cross your mind that you want to be, you know, I want to be president of the Republic. We've had two women presidents and we may have a third woman president, May. May. Uh, but there's a co around just uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we've had two women presidents. Well, yes. But um, no. It's too big a responsibility. I realized, you know, um, probably because I, I was national president of JC. of JCs, and you know what big responsibility it is, and then you put it at a higher level, you cannot imagine yourself. Really? Um, yeah. I can. I don't know. <laughs> no, Cabinet but, secretary, I want. What department? Department of Justice. Wow. Yeah. Like Laila Dilima. Who no. sat where you, you are seated I now? I know. I I, and I, I grilled know. her. 
I know. Like pork chop. Good thing you. <laughs> kind of brute force. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, she's fine, but I I don't agree with how she you know, handled President Arroyo. Yeah, and but a lot of things. And the, many the, other the, things. Yeah, the duplicity. But yeah, uh, but she's one tough lady. Well, I actually, you know, even if I disagree with how she handled. The, uh, the Department of Justice in relation to President Arroyo and the DAP cases, mm -hmm. I think it was very selective. Um, but the fact, personally, the mm -hmm. fact that she she knows that I'm very much uh, anti yellow. She breathed, be yeah, your guest. she was here, and so for you that give her I give her some some credit. Uh, you know, yeah, a lot of credit. Ah. So she's really tough. <laughs> Facing you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, anyway, right. Um, so you want to be DOJ secretary? Why? Or DOJ? Yeah, well, DOJ? because being Just a lawyer, because of lawyer yeah. um, you get to see the system, mm -hmm. and there are so many things that I believe that needs to be changed, which can be done through strong um, leadership. True. Not only on the part of the cabinet secretary, but also on the part of the president. It's a very difficult job. I know. But, you know, if, if you want to not the what? Department of Tourism. Okay. Or Department of Foreign Affairs. So there's a lot, huh? <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> Definitely that BIR. I don't like. You know why we collecting people's taxes? No, no. What about local? Governor of Cebu. You've already had a woman governor. A lady Can we leave governor. that to Christina? <laughs> Christina, <laughs> yes. Christina no, no, Pasco, we love you. Yeah, ma. hi, Chris. No, but um, definitely... It's like this. My heart is with Mandawi City. They, all this time, How all telling. these years. It has always been for the city of Mandawi. Because you are Lumad, no? Because I'm a Lumad Mandawi Hanon. I grew up there. Lumad. Um, Lumad. Yeah, that Lumad word again and Coranto. <laughs> Still Red fresh tagging. in my memory. Mudslinging. <laughs> and libel. <yeah. laughs> anyway. Um, well, this is all the time we have for this gap. We have to mm -hmm. pause for another break. Open mic, we'll be right back. <laughs> we're back here in open mic. Um, by the way, um, this is our first episode where we're actually live streaming, aside from uh, our regular airing uh, every Friday on my TV at uh, 7 p.m. and the daily replays. Uh, and that's for one week, and also our YouTube channel. We also next next time, no, we can live stream. So um, this is the website. It's live stream l i v e s t r e a m dot com slash my TV thirty m y t v thirty live stream dot com slash my TV thirty. Okay. So next time you can actually watch us as we um, record, as we yeah, as we tape. Yeah. So going back, Elaine. Yes. <laughs> um, there was a question. Uh, no, not a question, but a request from from Jamil mm -hmm. uh, Adjong, uh, SEC counselor. <laughs> Proclaimed. Your client. Your client. <laughs> My pro bono client. Your pro bono client. <laughs> Who, who will you will treat to dinner tonight, Pa? Okay, uh, negative the na best po. lawyer in town. No? <laughs> Just love me. <laughs> and a free dinner. <laughs> so that's why you win, Governor. I because, know. Because you're so nice. So <laughs> the request of Jamil is um, to, gi to give us a sample of the deep Cebuano that you use when you uh, when you host your show. Kini ang akong suliran. A spill or something? Uh, just a sample. Okay. Mayang gabi mga suking tig pa. Mina ako si Attorney Elaine Batan ang inyong kaabag kauban diri sa kahanginan nga gumunhap sa inyong mga suliran ng mga problema sa kinabuhi. Oh. Mura kang tagalain partido. Tataw, tinaw po sa tubig sa kawasan. Very good, yeah. very good. Well, well done, well done. Mm. Joella here also has a question. Yes. Uh, didn't you ever want to be... Uh, some, something else, you know. Uh, you, most of your family, they're lawyers, but was there ever a time that you wanted to break free from the mold, no? That, and be something else, be someone well, else. Well, for one, my family never pressured me okay. to become a lawyer. I was given the free hand, the free will, and the choice to become what Anything. I want to be. Yeah. And um, I chose to become a, a lawyer. Am I different? Am I pressured? I mean, I am not pressured. Um, Am I still different despite the fact that I too, like them, I'm a lawyer? I believe so. Um, for one, 
uh, I take pride with the fact that they have set a good example. They have paved a very good name for me to, to follow and emulate. But? So, but um, I decided How different to, are you from them? Different in a sense that I am more involved outside of the practice. Mm -hmm. I am with the IBP. I used my being a lawyer through the media, um, with the radio ah, program true. that I do, which I did not do. You're very public. While I am. Mm -hmm. And while my Tita Cora was the first IBP Lady President of Cebu, Cebu City, City chapter, chapter, I was only second. I am the first IBP Governor of the Eastern Visayas. It was a woman. Yes. First Lady wow. Governor. That, yeah, I know that, that makes yeah. me different, I think. <laughs> yes, makes you very different. I believe so. Especially that Eastern Visayas covers actually Central Visayas, it Cebu does. City, Cebu yes. Province. Bohol, uh, yeah. even way back summer and later. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> that, that, that's a very interesting perspective. No? But mm -hmm. I want to ask, because there's a lot of, you know, lawyers can be, there oh. are jokes about lawyers. A lot. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, never can you find an honest lawyer. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. it's always a, there's always a... Uh, a joke about it. About um, our honesty and sincerity. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I remember when I was... So please, uh, please uh, feel free to, to refute me. I remember when I was, I was young, um, my teachers, and I've studied in elementary, I studied in six different schools. Mm -hmm. Practically all my teachers would say, you should be a lawyer or a priest. Why? Because I'm very philosophical. <laughs> Everything I just think, you know, not just philosophize, mm -hmm. but I would try, you know, argue for argument's sake. Of course, I've toned down. Well, but <laughs> lawyers love to argue. <coughs> yeah, lawyers know. are very passionate about the cause of their client. But yeah, mm. but so ako, I, I like I really love, you know, poking holes at an argument. Mm -hmm. That was my hobby when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, so even when I was six, five, six, seven, we mag lawyer ka. Mm. Family also would say yes. the same thing. But for me, so that's why please feel free to refute me. I don't want to lie for a living. We don't lie. I know you mm. don't, but. There's some, there are times when you have to uh, not be completely forthright about things and you know when you protect your client, right? Not necessarily because we lawyers are not liars. We just know our way with the law. There are always two sides of the story. There will always be because we cannot... But there are law lawyers who are liars. Maybe. I cannot <laughs> speak for them. But yes, yeah. Well, well I will admit to that. Mm. There, um, just as there are also other... Um, profession. Professionals, professionals yeah. you know, who also violate their own ethics. Yes. Nobody is, no, no profession is ever perfect. I'm not saying that, you know, if you're a lawyer, automatically be a liar. I'm just saying that uh, when I was making that, uh, of course it crossed my mind mm -hmm. because of that. And it still does, mm. you know, well, because I worked in government, no? It can be under me. Uh, I worked in <laughs> government, so I feel, uh, my feeling is, okay, I have a working knowledge of the law. And, you know, I defended myself in a, as my own lawyer mm -hmm. in a, a, a PAGSI case against the uh, NYC Commission and Bank. Right. I was my own lawyer, so mm -hmm. I won that case. Um, so I feel okay. Maybe I can be a lawyer, but it's just that it would be a, it would be a very difficult uh, balance, no? Mm. Trying to balance your principles and 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 and, you don't and protect have to your client. necessarily compromise, Mike. That that is if there's because one we know some people who have. Yeah, but um, that makes other lawyers different. But you don't have to necessarily compromise. Um, the truth, the principles, True. if only to protect the interests and the rights of your client. We have, you cannot, for one, you cannot make an argument. You cannot make any allegation that is not even supported by law or jurisprudence. Okay. That's why I say that um, lawyers are not liars. We just know our way with the law. How diplomatic. Yes. <laughs> you can be foreign affairs. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, point well taken. Um, uh, let's go back to politics. You're the spokesperson of, of uh, Luigi Kisumbi. Congressman. Right? Yeah, Congressman yes. Luigi. Uh, and the team in He's running for mayor. He's actually my nephew. The big guy the big calls nephew. me. Tito Mike, Tito Mike. Yeah, you're Very due cute. to have him guest in this show. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So we'll have Luigi soon. Good but, evening, Congressman. Yeah, good evening. And um, yeah, he, and, and Lollipop Oano is also, she, he's running against Lollipop Oano. She's a friend of mine. She's a friend yeah. too. Yeah. So you are the spokesperson of Luigi. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I am. How, how is the campaign so far? Well, um, it's, it's recent, in, if, if, with the recent surveys, um, we are pleased uh, to, to say that the SWS survey showed that we are leading oh. uh, in the survey. 
uh, it means uh, it, it, it means to say that the efforts that the team has put in um, for this campaign, it's especially, very good, no? yeah, it did. We, we we are seeing the results there. I mean, people are uh, seeing how genuine. Did Luigi that ever ask you to run for office? Because you have, like I said, no, you're a lawyer, have the credentials for it, and you have a radio talk show, and that's uh -huh. uh, that's the sort of thing, no? the kind of thing that uh, you know. Uh, local candidates were looking for for well, their slate we at some point yeah we did talk about it but uh, i think i was able to insinuate and give him that impression that i would like to stay in the sidelines but i did assure him that i would be supporting him all the way and um, would be helping mandawi city in whatever way i can how do you manage that you mentioned that you're also friends with loli papuano mm -hmm. um, and you know like my predicament you know, in, in, ter in terms of this election, mm -hmm. like relatives and friends running against each other. Uh, you know, that's the, that's that's what's nice <clears throat> about Mandawi City, because um, we're very clannish. Everybody's related to everybody. The Awano, the Kabaw, the Fortuna, the Seno, um, Batan. They're all all related and connected, and we know each other. Everybody has his and her own desire to serve. Mm. They have their own uh, agenda on how they would want to present that service to the city of Mandawe. So we're leaving it to the voting public and um, to decide at the end of the day but, but the, who they would the, the want. But the rivalries can be very bitter. I see it on social media. It is, but it's not because of the, uh, the Lollipop and Luigi are the ones fighting it's for the se. Ones, it's you the go, people, no? You go lower, it's actually the people and the supporters. But um, if I may just uh, say it, no, uh, when when um, Mayor Teddy Uwan <coughs> died, passed away, mm. um, Congressman Kisun Bing and the entire team, out of respect to 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 the good mayor, even suspended um, their, campaign. their campaign and even attended uh, the necrological. Ah, they were there. The they were they were there. And it was more than civil, was it friendly? Very much, ah, very good, much. Good, you know, good. so that that would actually indicate. Um, the diplomacy between the two, those two people. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, Cebu City can also be a bit more civil. I can speak civilized. for that. I can only speak for my beloved city. <laughs> <laughs> so is that the reason why <coughs> in your Facebook it's very obvious you are for the Liberal Party? Yeah, I'm Standard. yellow. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Whether in school or out of school, I don't like yellow. Well, I never realized I would like it anyway. <laughs> uh, but your bag is pink. Because it's pink. <laughs> I like pink. <laughs> <laughs> my underwear is pink. <laughs> uh, and my, and my, my little pink. See? Uh, well, anyway, yeah. so you are supporting uh, uh, DI, uh, former DIAG Secretary Mar Rojas and Lenny Yes. yes. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly, yes. You know, you, 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 you look at the future of your country and I believe, I know you'll not agree with me, I, I believe that these okay. two people, you know, mm -hmm. can, can serve the country well, if given the mandate. And she's right, I completely disagree with her, but see, we're friends. <laughs> so nice we're to very disagree good friends. Yes. <laughs> but I passionately, passionately disagree with her. And sometimes I when do. I see her Facebook post, I just, okay, she's really my friend because I haven't hidden her. <laughs> and I know, and even my cousin had to go to you to convince me. Yes, just the other day, her cousin called me to convince, to ask me to convince her to go for uh, a candidate. Which you have not yet done. Uh, and I don't think you will. To convince you? Will you? I will try because okay. your cousin is my friend. So okay. I have to do But I'm your friend. No, but just try. Okay. <laughs> so that I can call her and say, yeah, I tried. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we can't say who that candidate is. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you not want? Yet, not yet. No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'll say. No, okay. no. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> so, Elaine, where, where do you see yourself uh, mm. 10 years from now? This is a very. Outstanding leader, outstanding graduate question. I know. <laughs> Don't you say the USC him? <laughs> also, USC I, I memorized it back. No, uh, 10 years from now, I think I would be. Now. That would make me. Okay, never mind. Menopausal. Am I? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, 10 years from now, I would like to see myself having my own family, of course. Okay. Um, still involved. Mm -hmm. Still as probably <clears> passionate. <throat> in whatever it is uh, that I would choose to do or whatever fate or opportunity may come my way within as I go along in that 10 years. And I would 
probably travel more often. Do you want to be integrated by the Philippines uh, president, national president? That's a very tough job. Um, I, I am Justice in fact, is the Supreme Court. Justice, probably. I, I, if, if I, it's like this, if I would consider the judiciary, I would want to enter the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeals. If I become president, you're, you're justice secretary. Justice yeah, secretary or justice? Or chief justice. I want chief justice. Well, let's give it time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're my friend. Because <laughs> who knows, there are other people might, more qualified than you. you know? more, but, more friends than me? No, but it's all about friendship. Okay. That's not how I choose my, my you know, appointees. I will vote for you. <laughs> like but the only time I can run is 2028. That would be 12 years, 12 years from, from now. Not bad. Not so, bad. Where do you see yourself 12 years from now? <laughs> Under your employee, as chief justice. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having fun here. <laughs> anyway, Lynn, thank you so much for uh, you. for the time, for a very uh, lively conversation. Yes, it's I enjoyed just, it. It's not an interview, it's just a conversation among friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, spending the first, uh, our first ever live feed. <laughs> With me. Yes, I didn't even know that we had our first live feed tonight. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for having me. It is a pleasure. I enjoyed it much. Looking and congratulations on this wonderful show. Thank I'm very you. proud of you. Thank you. And I always told you that I want you here, no? So I'm finally you're finally, here. Finally, thank you. <laughs> we will continue the conversation over dinner. Yes. With our Tingong Carolinian family who are here with us. Anyway, this has been another uh, episode of Open Mic. This time we had Attorney Elaine Batan, the Governor of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines uh, Eastern Visayas Chapter. Until next week, this has been Mike Lopez. Good night and God bless you.